Good morning, friends. Welcome to the Spring Cloud Session 5. In this session, we are going to primarily focus on how do you document microservices. Majority of the microservices what we develop are the REST APIs. So to document a REST API, we have a very good standard that is popularly known as Swagger standard or now people calling it as an open API. Swagger donated that standard to open API and uh, open API is another standard. A simple way to understand is if you write a documentation of your REST API according to a standard that is called open API standard, then you are good. The documentation gets automatically generated and stuff. Okay, in this session, we are going to see how do you use open API to document your REST API. So we use open API standard to document your REST API. Then Spring Fox is a implementation or library which will help us to do that then once the documentation is generated you can generate the client code from the documentation so like typically when you want to test the rest api right you need to know what is input what is output and uh, you make a calls to that rest api right so to do that you need to generate that documentation very people use uh, very popular tools like postman to auto generate the client code so if you want to auto generate the client code then you need to have a swagger json that's what people call it okay or api definition json so we are going to see those things let us see what we are going to cover in this session first of all why do we need to document our microservices documentation is very essential part in a software development life cycle right if you write a very good api but there is no document around it people don't know how to use it then there is no uh, then you will not be much successful like people ask you so many questions how to use the api and stuff so even poorly written api is well documented people accept it okay people know how to use it when you develop some tool they need to be good documentation right a manual so if you give it to someone your api if you are giving a manual to it how to use it it will be a lot easier for him to do so um that's the reason having a good documentation is very essential in uh, for an api so that people can easily use it what do you have any specification like do you have any standard that you need to follow to write a documentation yes that is called open api standard or swagger standard i think smart bear uh, organization donated this standard to uh, open api project so which i think it's somewhere around 2015 i believe okay so they, they gave that standard to the open api and if you follow that standard and document your rest api you're good so open api versus swagger both are same now more or less like there is no much definition difference uh, what is a open api definition you you want to say how you what is your what is your service what are input parameters what are the error codes it's generate how should you call two things you need to understand open api is an api swagger ui is nothing but a visualization engine i'm going to show you both uh, that that how to use swagger ui and call your uh, documentation then the third thing is like once you have api definition right once you have documentation using open api you can use tools like postman so if you see you can use tools like postman import your swagger definition and the client code automatically generates and you can play with the api even with the swagger ui you can do that but uh, clients like open api if you want to invo you can invo you can generate auto client code in jmeter if you want to do performance testing and stuff so documenting api with open api standard is very essential that is what we are going to learn here so as usual spring makes our life very simple spring fox is the implementation that we are going to do okay uh, let us go to the whiteboard and i'll just I'll just explain you the environment and uh, then we'll go to a quick demo. So what do I have? You guys know, right? So the general pattern, what we have is we have a gateway. If you guys didn't follow my earlier sessions, please follow please understand this is a very common example which i take we have two apis one is like employee api 
another one what we have is like payroll api we have two apis we are going to document these two apis so if someone wants to invoke the documentation they are going to call via gateway which hits the employee api and the employee api serves the documentation this is nothing but the documentation call if someone wants to see the documentation they are going to call and we are going to serve the response so um, this is pretty straightforward i am not going to go about service registry whatever we have standard thing we have one registry okay we have one registry and all the microservices registered to it and uh, the routes are established on the gateway uh, if you see my previous sessions of uh, inter microservice communication you will understand the whole deployment of uh, this if you don't follow it the simple thing is every microservice register with the registry and all the request comes via gateway and hit the services the simple thing is every request has to go through gateway or people call it say edge server and uh, this is like a proxy so all the request goes to gateway and hit employee api and employee api response gateway response back so this is a good pattern everyone has to follow when developing the microservice okay, keeping that aside let's focus only on uh on the documentation part the entire tutorial is documented in the github repository spring cloud session 5 microservice documentation you can clone it this has a very nice steps how to play with how to generate documentation and everything okay so here i already I'm sorry i think i didn't stop my previous environment okay so i just cloned the entire code here if you see i have the entire code i cloned it here now the first thing as usual you know maven clean install we are going to build the code so that's the first step what you are going to do because the source code doesn't have the artifacts source code doesn't have the binaries so i build three services registry employee api payroll api and gateway now we are going to document the employee api okay so the first thing what you have to do is you have to add spring fox i said to you right spring fox is the uh, library that is help us to generate the documentation automatically so you go to employee api in pom.xml you can see here spring doc spring open api you add you add this artifact as a dependency it's like open api ui that internally add say spring fox dependency as a transitive dependency like if you add one this simple uh, dependency to your spring boot project then everything is done you really don't need to do any annotations or nothing needs to be done that's all the automate the generate the document is automatically generated you know right we have controller this is our rest api definition nothing more than that this is our rest api right where employee pass employee id and the result is given back so we want to document this get employee details method even i didn't have any annotations at of uh, spring fox or swagger annotations people call it so i don't do dna annotations i just added one definition one dependency then the documentation is automatically generated these are the only this is the only thing which you need to add if you want to do customizations then you need to write those annotations which i am not going to cover as a part of this session this session is like quickly you need to document your api that's my intention or goal so add this dependency then build the code i built the code then as usual our standard procedure i'll run registry so registry is coming up then then i'll run the employee api so if you see that employee api it's a very standard if you follow all my previous videos i'm taking only one example and showing all the step by step so then payroll so you know right these runs on a dynamic ports register registry and 
finally we'll start the gateway as well so i started the gateway server now okay before accessing the api documentation one important thing you need to do is this this change is needed because we are accessing employee api you or the swagger definitions okay employee sorry we are accessing employee api documentation uh, via gateway so this is what right anything employee slash means it it needs to be served by the employee microservice so we are accessing those documentations via gateway that's the reason you need to set this swagger or document paths else you don't need even this configuration if you are directly accessing microservice if you are directly accessing microservice but no one directly access microservice everyone will go via gateway that's the reason we we just add the gateway routes as usual if you go to gateway there is nothing change in the gateway because gateway we already have anything slash star star serve from employee and and you know right we never know what port the employee api is running so all you need to do is two things add a pom dot dependency and the second thing is if you have a gateway say that this these are the routes on the gateway so those are the two things now now this is up now let me access the uh, swagger documentation swagger ui swagger ui is like which explains the our api okay it's an ui to explain the api documentation um, let me access so this is the swagger ui so local host 8080 gateway employee and i'm saying swagger ui dot html this is what our the swagger ui so you see that i have an employee api which takes only employee i have only one method okay so now let me play with it this is a get method so i'll say try it out i'll pass employee id like i want to get the details of a 100 employee what is his name okay so i pass 100 and say click on execute the call got executed and here you can see that the response this is the response of the api so you have api documentation and people want to play with the api they can play within the same this, that's the beauty of the swagger ui the swagger ui helps you to document the api and at the same time you can try the api as well so i now let us try with the another user 101 a user with 101 what is his name so the user with 101 is like tom now let us see what is with the user 102 where i don't have so the response code what it what what i got from the server is like 200 and it just gave some id colon string so it just gave it dummy object okay so uh, this is what swagger ui is you have a ui you you document api what are the parameters it takes okay what is the response it generates okay and it also shows you the schemas of employee okay it has a name and id okay so that's a beauty with the swagger documentation we don't we didn't do anything we just added one annotation and the documentation got created for our api okay this you this one we already know uh, now let us see what is another advantage i said you right your entire api documentation is like entire definition is is a small json file so if you uh, if you do a, a simple curl okay if you if you just do a curl on api docs url you are going to get a json which describes your api definition or for a better view json pretty print so here if you can see uh, i documented my api with open api 3.0 okay which is running at so on so server okay which takes these are the paths okay and these are the parameters it it explains you everything in a neat fashion these are the response codes so the advantage of this is like you can import this in a 
tools like Postman, JMeter, and automatically generates the client code. So for example, import, I'm saying import a open API definition. I'll give the definition open. So I'm importing that JSON inside this Postman and click import. Here you can see automatically a client code is generated for you. Get employee details. And it is saying that employee value is integer. Okay, right. 100 and you just send then you can see that automatically or you can start using the API. So the client code is automatically generated for you. That is one of the advantage of the open API definition. If you have an open API definition, then automatically you can import in any tool like Postman or JMeter and generate the cloud client code automatically. That is one of the advantage. So um, those were the two important things which I want to cover. Swagger UI and API definition. How can you auto generate with uh, uh, open API or open API? So I think pretty much I covered anything. I'm not going to cover about registry, blah, blah. You already know our whole infrastructure. So if you see, go back. So there is a registry and everything, leave about everything, but I just focused on the documenting a microservice. So Swagger or OpenAPA is very popular tool to document microservice. Thank you for watching.